Today we have asked Dr. Michael Contreras, a dermatologist, to join us to talk all things skin. Before we get off the flu, though, Dr. Contreras, the hand sanitizers we hear are pretty good to help contain viruses, but they also dry you out a lot. Should you be using lotion along with that? I mean, we this you can tell it's almost gone. We, we love this stuff here. We're fans of it. Yeah. We go through tons of it ourselves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it because it has some alcohol in it? Is this pretty drying? It is, and hand sanitizers really have to have about 60% alcohol to be effective, um, and they, they are effective for bacteria, viruses, um, when properly used, and you have to put an you know, appropriate amount. It usually takes about 15 seconds to get an adequate coverage of your hands. Um, they can dry out the skin, but actually there's studies showing that they don't dry out the skin as much as normal hand washing huh. with oh, soap really? and water. So oh, right. it sounds a little counterintuitive with the alcohol in there, but uh, they do frequently add moisturizing ingredients. So you look for those products that have moisturizers included. Okay. I guess better to have dry skin and no flu. Yeah. That's good. We'll <laughs> That's keep true. using it. That's right. All right, Marty's talking a lot about the sunshine. We had a lot of in Colorado sunshine. And, and actually, there's some different regulations about sunscreen labels. And what should we be looking for? Because we need, we need to use it all year round in Colorado. Well, that's very true, and we're at higher altitude, and that's what people need to remember is here, we're at about 6,000 feet. You get up to the mountains, you're at 10,000 feet. With every 1,000-foot elevation increase, you get about 6% more exposure to the sun, um, intensity of the ultraviolet rays. So if you're up on the ski slopes, you're getting about 60% more sun than you get at a lower altitude. Yeah. So. Um, it's important to wear a, a sunscreen that has broad spectrum coverage and the new um, FDA guidelines just came out and uh, they just started in December and that includes broad spectrum labeling so that covers ultraviolet A mm -hmm. and ultraviolet B so it's important that you look for that broad spectrum. Right. right. So everybody yeah. with the goggles tan, right. especially in our newsroom, you know, on a Monday morning. Oh, yeah. I've always wondered about uh, dates on sunscreen. We've, we've, we've been back and forth on this, and uh, very frequently we've done stories here on our own broadcast that after a year, mm -hmm. you should throw them away and start over. Is that what you recommend as well? Uh, they will have expiration dates, and that's, that's part of the new labeling. Um, but typically they're, they're supposed to last three years, according to the FDA. Ah. So um, now if they've been out in your car or... You know, environments that are, are hotter than usual, then they probably will break down a little more quickly. Yeah. yeah. One of my kids has uh, eczema and just really, really dry skin. And I think for anybody who is not from Colorado or visits, they instantly feel the difference. So, what oh, yeah. do what is what do we need to be doing? I mean, this this is a more standard. This is thinner. This is a real thicker, thicker kind of a almost a not just a cream, but it's more it's like a Vaseline. More of an ointment. This is. What yes, do, this what, is awkward. What's the difference? Does this evaporate off your skin as fast? Does it do a lot of good? Do we need something this thick in Colorado? Well, I do recommend Aquaphor a lot, and it has it's petro, uh, petroleum based, so uh, it is more of an ointment, and that's something I usually recommend at night. Of course, during the day, you're not going to put on an ointment right. and, and go to work, and you yeah. know that's that's a problem. So yeah. at night, this works the best. In the daytime, here in Colorado, <clears throat> hardly no, hardly ever recommend lotions. Usually, it's creams. You want something that is still in a jar. Some of the creams come in pumps, but, uh, okay. and there are some formulations like Cetaphil, CeraVe, mm -hmm. that are easy to wear throughout the day. <clears throat> and after each hand washing, it's a good idea to put the moisturizing right. cream on there. Right, good too. advice. Oh, well, right. we learned a lot there in a few minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. Thanks for being our guest today. Very informative. Thank you.